The McDonnell XF-85 Goblin was America's strangest fighter, a tiny, 14-foot aircraft designed to be carried inside the bomb bay of a B-36. The concept emerged at the end of World War II as U.S. bombers were gaining range faster than their escort fighters. The Air Force feared its new bombers would be left unprotected deep over enemy territory. A parasite fighter, launched and recovered in flight, seemed like a creative solution. In 1945, McDonnell redesigned its proposal into a jet-powered pocket fighter with folding wings, three vertical stabilizers, 450 caliber guns, and no landing gear. A retractable hook on its nose would let it latch onto a bomber after a short burst of combat. Two prototypes were completed by 1947. Because B-36s were not yet available, the Air Force modified a B-29 Superfortress, nicknamed Monstro, to carry the Goblin for testing. In July 1948, test pilot Edwin Schock began test flights, hanging in Monstro's bomb bay. On August 23rd, he released the Goblin for the first time. The jet handled well in flight, but docking was another story. Turbulence beneath the bomber knocked the Goblin around, and when Shosh attempted a hookup, he struck the trapeze so hard that the canopy shattered and his helmet was ripped off. He belly landed safely on the dry lake bed below. Engineers modified the aircraft, and by October, Shok performed the first successful mid-air docking. However, reliability never improved, and repeated attempts often ended in more damaged equipment and belly landings. By 1949, Aerial refueling had proven practical, making long-range escort flights possible without the use of parasite aircraft. After just seven test flights, with only three successful dockings, the Air Force canceled the XF-85 program. 